and welcome to We Are Androgyny. Okay, so white elephant in the room. Um, no extensions. Okay, so, <laughs> alright, so, this right here is, like, my natural hair. Like, I literally just took a shower, blew it out with a blow dryer, and left it at that. Like, I did not curl it, I did not do anything to it, so I didn't even style it. I just threw it all up and kind of just, that. So, yeah. I'm serving some, like, Chris Jenner realness today, you know, minus, like, the yeast infection and stuff like that. Um, moving on to the topic this week. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to explain this. Um, when I'm sick, I don't like wearing makeup, I don't like wearing extensions, and, like, I've been sick this whole week. Like, I've been sick since, um, yeah, I was sick last week when it was the anniversary of Tate Diamond Photography. Like, I was so, 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 so deadly sick. Like, I could not even leave bed. I was just so, like, ugh. Like, I just was basically paralyzed, almost. Um, I still don't know what's wrong. Apparently, I was stressed. I was overworking, so, I mean... My doctor told me to cool it for a while, and, you know, I t took a, a day break, and, um, yeah, like, like, slowing down is not something inside of my vocabulary or calendar, so, yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, so, I mean, yesterday, um, I was too sick to post as well, and I know, I think it was Alexis who told me to, like, focus on, um, getting better. Somebody texted me again. Um, Alexis told me to focus on getting better, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do that, and I did, like, two hours of that but you know that's still a lot for me so yeah excuse me if I sound a little sick still um I am a little sick but yeah um oddly enough I was just randomly filming this video tonight because I knew I had no time this weekend or like Friday to film it so I was just gonna film it um tonight and then do like the addressing everybody on Saturday when I'm tap time but um yeah um Kali said he couldn't post tomorrow well today Wednesday um Tuesday right now when I'm filming, but, um, yeah, Kali City couldn't post, so I was like, oh my god, perfect opportunity, so I did, and yeah, I'm guesting for Kali today, so yeah, it's Monday on a Wednesday, and I believe the topic of this week is the how-to video, um, basically is open up in the air for, like, a how-to or whatever, and, um, yeah, I decided to do a how-to on my nails, because everybody asks how I do my nails or what I do, and I recently started doing my own nails, um, because my nail technician will be will be leaving soon so she's been giving me like behind the scenes classes to um, my own nails because I like the way she does my nails like everybody else there pretty much fucks my shit up and she does a really good job so um, she's been teaching me how to apply acrylics myself and instead of getting like the plastered on acrylic I don't know what that's called when they put the bead on there of the actual acrylic nail and they drag it out with the paper underneath I have no idea what that's called that's so bad but again I'm not a professional and um but yeah, um, she taught me how to put on stiletto tips, so that's what I'm starting to wear now. It's just like this tip. I mean, you can still see it because I haven't blended it and filed it down yet, so that's what I'm going to do pretty much in the video, and um, I don't know if I'm going to add that at the end, but yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about initially, and um, yeah, this is my boyfriend. Isn't he so cute? That's my life. Um, have fun in it. Uh, yeah, with the video. Okay, so this was shot really quick, really fast, and I know it's a very bad angle, I'm sorry, this is like my first time filming with my nails, so I didn't know how to like stick everything in like in the corner, I think it's this corner or this corner of the video, you'll actually see the strap in my bag. But um, yeah, this is my first time shooting a video, like a how-to video, especially on my nails, because I do know how to do how-to videos on makeup, just never nails, or hands, or anything where my hands, I can't use both of them at the same time. So yeah, please bear with me. Um. Oh, and then the background of my video is like That's a Raven, so, you know, I've just been sitting at home watching Netflix, trying to get better, watching That's a Raven, and I've been in, like, this drug-induced coma, so, yeah, um, yeah, let's, let's just have fun, um, happy home day! Okay, well, for starters, in this look, somebody just texted me, um, alright, so the first thing you're gonna need to start off this look is these two fingernail polishes, um, this first one is... The answer is the best reindeer, and the next one is, um, what is this one? Um, Grey's Anatomy. So these are the two colors you're going to get. They're both by Wet n Wild. This I love because it's kind of like a gunmetal, um, color, and it's also got the like, hues of green and purple in there, so it kind of looks like liquid silver and or, like, oil, so it's really, I really like that because it's kind of like a mermaid kind of look, fish 
scale. Um, and the next thing you'll need is a nail file. Um, this is just some rinky dink one I got for like a couple dollars. And my go to item for um, nails in general that I learned from um, my nail titian or whatever she's called. And this is just Suave Extreme Hold 10, I believe. Um, but yeah, I usually use this and just spray it on the coat to help it dry faster. And yeah, these are the four things you'll actually need for the look, I guess. And yes, that is my fire extinguisher. Just ignore that, but yeah, let's get started. Um, okay, so first of all, you're gonna go. I got my nails done today. Um, oops. I got my pure acrylic done today, so you know, I just got the acrylic base put on. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna add to it a little bit more and give the color. So first of all, I'm gonna go over it with the Grey's Anatomy from Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna do that now. And mind you, I am right-handed, so. This might look a little silly, but I promise it looks so much better in person. So, yeah, I'm just going to go over that, the nail right now. So let me do that really quick. It's one clear coat like this. If you can see it. Can you see how, like, clear coated that is? Um, yeah, that's the one clear coat you're going to want. Just go over each nail one time. And then we're going to go back over a second time. So let me do that, and then I'll come right back to you. Alright, so this is the first coat. It's just going to come out clear and you probably won't even tell. But um, yeah, we're going to go over it a couple more times just to make it stay. And you can already see the hues of color, but you probably won't be able to see it on camera. I tried it earlier. So yeah, I'll, let me just go over it another time and then I'll come right back to you. Alright, so this is pretty much the base I'm going to go over. Um, this is pretty much it now that it's all done. So this is what it's going to look like. I, I'm filming and trying to like view the back of the camera at the same time, so it looks a little bit crazy. But after I do this, I'm just going to give it a light spritz with the hairspray I have. So I hope it doesn't get it on the camera. But um, yeah, just a couple light sprays. I just sprayed my phone. That's nice. And let that dry for a little bit, and then um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'll come right back. Okay, so <clears throat> the good thing about these nails is that they dry really, really fast. So, um, yeah, we're going to move on to the glitter now. But, yeah, the hue is amazing so far. Um, and it looks kind of gray, so maybe hint gray's anatomy. I just thought of that. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb when I'm sick. But, um, yeah, let's get started. So, um, like I said, you're going to be using a lot of the dancer is the best reindeer, I think it's called. Um, but, yeah, um, let's just open this up. And I'm going to show you what size bead I would normally use. So I would just lay it flat like this down on the table. And um, kind of swirl that around. Can you see that? Um, I kind of swirled this around inside of there. Like that. Pick it up. Dip down. Swirl it again. And then pick it up. And then as you can see, I grab a huge, huge bead. Like that. So it just oozes and like falls off. And then you put that on the base of your nail, like so. Alright, I put that on my nail like that. You see how it's just guapped on there? And then I'm going to just pull it up. Just a little bit, like that. Just pull it up. And then I'm going to pull it back down, like so. Um, somehow. <laughs> this is so hard to do with one hand. Ah, I got it on my finger. And I pull it down like that. Do you see what I did? I kind of spread it out. Alright, and any fuck ups. I just use my nail to wipe it off. Then I go back in, swirl it around. Grab another bead. Alright, another big whop and oozy one as well. And I put that back on top again. Alright, and now I go to each nail and do that same thing because I'm going to keep going over and coating it over and over. So next is my next, my index finger. And I put the bead on there again like that. You see it? I hope this is focusing, but that's what I'm going to do now. 
Alright, I'm just going to spread that around my nail like I did the other one as well. Alright, and I apply a bigger bead on there like I did. Can you see how much I applied on there? I hope I can show it. Just clobbed it on there. And then I just slightly blend it up. Oh, cough, sorry. Mind you, you will get messy and it will come over your nail. So like this at the end, I guess. You see that? And then I just wipe away anything onto a towel. And right here. I'm just going to pull that out. Alright, so that's what that's going to look like at the end of it. And then your thumb should look like this as well. And you still have these to go. And you can see where the lines I've drawn. You have this to go. So you just want it to keep going and keep going to each nail just so you end up like this. Alright, and you just keep blending. So I'm going to do each one of my nails and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so I just did each nail. Um, my camera's not focusing. But yeah, I just did each nail. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend up from where I did it initially. Um, this line right here that you can see where I applied more. And I'm just going to blend it up just a little bit, probably about halfway like I did this nail. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, to each nail, I'm going to dip it back in here, grab another gooey bead, can you see how gooey that is? Oh, hope it don't fall. I'm just going to put that on my nail, like so. Alright, you see that? Then I'm going to pull it to each side, just popping it up and down. And I do like pulley pushy motions, like I pull it up, and then I'm just going to pull it up. I'm going to push it all the way down to the base of my nail, down here, and then I'm going to pull it up from there, keeping more of the product in the middle and just kind of pulling it out and blending it down. Alright, so this nail is almost done, just the size I need to file in so they fit better. And yeah, I just got to get the sides in and clear up any excess that I got on my finger. So I'm going to do this to each nail and I'll probably add a little more. Alright, there I'm doing it again. I'm pulling it up. I'm making everything point to the tip of my nail. So I'm going to pull the nail up, pull the glitter up, and I dip again. I have another bead. I'm just going to dabble it and pull it up on my nail. But you don't want to go too high because you want to keep that glitter and keep that transition. Alright, I'm going back to my last fingernail. Putting the bead on there again, as you can see, which you can be able to see like this way. Alright, I'm just going to take this up and I'm just going to pull it and kind of press down on it, but keeping it very chunky and a thick consistency. Alright, and I'm going to pull that up, 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 up. I'm going to add more product just so it blends easier. And I just let that sit there for a little bit until I'm ready to file it out. Oh, that's a little too much product for me. All right, there you go. I'm just gonna pull that up, 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 up. All right, like that. Alright, can you see that? I hope I was <laughs> able to catch that on camera. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry a little bit because it's pretty thick. And like I said, the one thing I love about this Wet n Wild collection is that it dries pretty quick. So I'm going to clean up any excess now. So there we go. I've cleaned up every excess, all the excess, and I'm going to spritz it with hairspray. Alright, I'll let that dry really quick. This is almost done. Um, they're almost completely dry, and they're pretty thick and chunky, but this will stay for a very long time. That's why I love glitter, and I love clumping on glitter, because it will stay for a very, very long time. And it also helps with my acrylics. Um, this brand, I know, works especially well with acrylics, especially if you get them um, plastered on, and or um, when you get the acrylics applied, these really do help to keep them on longer. And um, 
using this as a base coat really does help as well because it really clings together, especially with the colors. And um, these colors really work well together. I'm trying to get you to see how the Green's Anatomy changes color. As you can see now, it's kind of like a gunmetal kind of gray color. You move it around and it turns green. Can you see that? And there's a hue of purple in there. I just can't get it. But yeah. All right, next, so I'm going to take my file, to which I've been talking about, and I'm just going to file the edges of my nails, like so, just to help shape them. I like to shape my nails after I get them um, colored, which my stylist does as well. Well, my technician, I should call her. Um, yeah, she does this as well, so it's just what I'm going to do. And I love this nail polish brand because you can manipulate it even after it's been used. Especially the glitters because yeah, I check my nail all the time afterwards. And you can see, as, as you can see, there's a little bump on top of here. What you want to do is press that down. Actually, that finger's not going to work. And just spread it out and even it out as thin as you possibly can. All right? You always check the tips. You see how clumpy it is in the corner. And I like to pull that down. And bend the sides. Pull it down. All right. And I contour the sides with my finger. All right. And now I'm just going to add another coat of the... I almost said sweet and low. <laughs> I'm staring at sweet and low, so that's why I said it. But another coat of the hairspray, just lightly. Yeah, that's my interpretation of lightly. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let this sit and dry for a little bit. Um, sometimes I'll put it underneath a light, just another uh, regular light bulb or LED or a black light. That's what I will usually put it under just to help it dry quicker. And, yeah, that's the nails I'm going to do for the video. Um, so they end up like this. And just easy. It's really quick, really fast. Um, it took a little longer for me to do it because I was painting with my other hand. But, um, yeah, I watched my nail technician do this and... She helped me do this on my own, and I love it because it looks very clear. As you can see, you can see my actual nail. And then it pretty much adds a little hue of spice. And, yeah, I just really love this. So this is my how-to video, I guess, um, with the fire extinguisher. And my nail polish, which are two things that shouldn't probably be together, because it's kind of bad. And, yeah, so this is pretty much everything you'll need. And thanks, loves, and I hope you subscribe. And check my main channel for more beauty tips and, um, yeah, stuff from Avon. These aren't from Avon, anyway, so I'm kind of cheating on them. And, um, yeah, that's my video. Thanks, love.